So in this session, I'm going to install Splunk on Google Cloud Platform. Splunk as a tool is very nice with regards to like searching when you want to index your data and you want to gain some actionable insights and you want to look for some patterns in data. Apart from that, it is also very helpful when you want to monitor uh, your uh, systems. And uh, another thing is if you want to perform some visualization through Splunk, that is also possible. So for doing it, I will be using uh, Google Cloud Platform. So I will be using my account that I have already set up. So in case you want to know how to set up the Google Cloud account, so we have a separate video in our YouTube channel that you can watch. So right now I am going here and I am starting with the uh, Splunk uh, installation on Google Cloud Platform. So I'll go to console.cloud.google.com. And here I will log in with the account that I have set up. So this account is having free credits, Google Cloud free credit. So I will be making use of that. So I will be using my account here. Uh, let me. Okay, so this is uh, my user ID and the password is Hopefully this is the right password. Let's log in. So now I want to install Splunk. Uh, for doing it, I will be going to Compute Engine and I will be going to VM Instances. So in VM Instances, I will be saying create a new VM Instance. And then I will be specifying like uh, the type and name, everything. So I'm just giving the name. It is Splunk. And here we have many parameters. So we will be specifying these parameters here. We will be choosing machine type as uh, N1 standard 2. So I'm changing it to N N1 standard 2, which has 7.5 gigs of memory. And uh, after that, I will be basically choosing the boot disk. So this boot disk uh, is having uh, right now default selection is linux 9 but i will be changing it to ubuntu so let's change it and i will be choosing ubuntu here and i will be selecting ubuntu 18.04 that is long terms with long term support Okay, this is done i will just select this and i will say allow uh, default for access for uh, apis and uh, this is uh, fine like uh, for the for the firewall i will be choosing allow http as well as allow https and other things are fine like uh, i will just click on create so the vm instance has been created and now I will do SSH on this VM. Okay, so I have done SSH on this VM. And uh, here we see that we have uh, the terminal. And uh, in this terminal, we will be getting the Splunk. So I will be doing wget. And I will be using this. And these commands are actually given in the description of this video. You can just get these commands and execute it. So we can get the download for Splunk. And then after that, I will be basically uh, using a command to uh, unpack this deployable component. So this is Debian distribution and I am just unpacking it. So the Splunk version is 8.0. 0.3 okay so splunk is now unpacked and uh, it's already in place so let's see if we have uh, something under opt and then i will go to splunk bin so we do have a lot of things here right so we just need to now uh, use cd and uh, we will basically be starting Splunk now. I will be doing sudo and here I will be using Splunk and then enable.
and then I will be using boot start. So these are license terms. So I'll just quickly move ahead. Okay, so now it is asking me to specify administrator username. So I will say admin and you can set a password and password should be minimum eight characters. So I just gave this password here. Um, now it's all set. Uh, so the Splunk has been set up and I have accepted the terms and condition. I have set up the admin user. All these things are done. So we just need to see the status now. So I'll do system CTL, system CTL and I'll, I'll say the status of Splunk and let's see. So it shows me that uh, Splunk is inactive. So Splunk is inactive. So I will just start the Splunk. So I'll go to this command again and I will change it to start. Okay, so the Splunk has been started. Now I want to access Splunk, but before I access, I will go to firewall rules. I'll go to VPC. I'll go to firewall rules and there I will be setting up a rule for Splunk. So I'll say create a firewall rule and I will give a name Splunk. Something simple right now. So this is the name of the rule. And uh, after that, I will say, uh, all instances in this network and uh, I am also changing source IP address range so I can give uh, any any IP address can access but uh, I would suggest like uh, I will use uh, maybe my IP address my IP I'll just do it I'll get this my IP here I'll copy and I will paste it here this is my source IP and uh, if I scroll down, you can just specify the specific ports. We can select TCP 8000 and then I will say create it. So we are okay. So the name is already in use. So I will say Splunk 8080. Yeah. So this is the role and then I will say create. So when I'm creating this rule, it will basically be registered here in GCP. And uh, after this, I will be able to access Splunk. And uh, for uh, doing it, let's go to the VM instances again. And uh, here you will find VM instances, Compute Engine, VM instances. So I'll be making use of external IP address here. I will copy it. I'll go here. I'll paste it here and I will say colon 8000. So now it is showing me the UI of Splunk. Nice.